Hi, beautiful butterflies. Does anybody know what holiday is coming up? You're right, Yom Hatzmayut, Israel's birthday. So today we're gonna be making two different kinds of party hats. So you can see, I have this one that I made out of a template that your mommies and daddies have in their email, so you can ask them to print it out. It looks just like this. And then I also took some paper and made my own birthday crown. So to get started, you're going to need the template from your mommy and daddy, a piece of paper. I'm using a long piece of white construction paper, but you can use any type of paper you want. The only requirement is that when you cut it or um, fold it, it's long enough to go around your head. So I've got my two pieces of paper. I also have markers and crayons, stickers. You can use any type of stickers you want. If you want to use gems or pom-poms instead, you can do that. I also have some feathers that I can add, and then I'm going to need some tape and scissors. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to start with the template. This one looks like a party hat where it's the cone on your head. So you're going to go ahead and decorate it any way you like. So I'm gonna do some stripes on mine. So I'm just taking my time to color with some markers. I'm also gonna use some crayons. I'm going to do some maybe polka dots now. So you kind of get to decide how you want your party hat to look. Now, did you know in Israel when they celebrate Yom Hatzmeyut, it's a really, really, really big party. So it's Yom Hatzmeyut is the Israeli Independence Day. Now, I know that's kind of hard to understand, but Israeli Independence Day means that that's when the state and the country of Israel became its own. So they weren't being told what to do by any other countries. They finally were on their own. So it's kind of like their birthday. So on Yom Hatzmeyut, there's fireworks in Israel, big parties and celebrations. It's a very happy and exciting holiday for all of the Jewish people. Even though we don't live in Israel, many of us have visited Israel or our mommies and daddies have, and we are all Jewish. And Israel is the homeland for all of the Jewish people. So now you can kind of see I have all different kinds of designs. I used markers on this one, but I'm gonna use crayons on my next one. So now, very carefully, it's time to cut. So I put my thumb inside the small hole, and I can put two or three fingers in the big oval hole. Now remember, when I'm cutting, I wanna point the scissors away from my body because it is not safe to point scissors at your body. So I'm gonna take my helper hand and I'm gonna hold my paper and I'm gonna cut away from me. Now, we've been working on scissors at home. So if you have kids scissors, maybe your mommy and daddy can let you try to cut out your own hat. But if you don't have kid size scissors, you only have big grown-up scissors, maybe your mommy and daddy can help you. And you can cut your party hat out before or after you color it. You can decide. So I'm cutting it out. So you can see now it's a kind of a funny shape. Now, do you see this dotted line? We're gonna fold on that dotted line. So this might, you might need a little bit of grown-up help for that, this part. So then we connect it. So I have my tape. You can also use glue if you want. Um, I'm using tape so it sticks quickly and I don't have to wait for it to dry. So I'm going to tape it closed. So you might need two or three pieces of tape for this. And then if you want, 
you can glue a pom-pom or a piece of paper on top. And you can also punch a hole in the sides so you can put it on. Mine actually balances on my bun today. So you can punch holes in it and attach a string or a pipe cleaner so it goes underneath your chin so it stays on your head. Now that's one way to make your party hut. Another is by taking any type of paper. I'm gonna go ahead and cut mine in half. Now, you can either fold it and cut triangles out of it, like I did on this one, so it looks kind of like a crown. Do you see that? This time, I'm just gonna take my scissors and my helper hand's gonna hold my paper and I'm gonna kind of do a squiggle. So I'm just cutting. And remember, I'm cutting away from my body because I want to be extra safe. And I'm just cutting some squiggles. So now I have two pieces. Now, I have two pieces because one is not quite big enough to go around my head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape them together. So then I'm going to have one really long piece of paper. And it's going to be so long that I'm going to have to cut it so that way it fits my head. So you can have a grown up help you try to measure your head. So let's see if I have it like this. So I can cut about here. Now everyone's head size is a little bit different so you can just measure it to fit your head. See, and then I'll have enough space in the back to uh, tape it closed so then it looks like a crown. Now this time I want to use some stickers and I have beautiful butterfly stickers. So I'm just going to put some stickers on my birthday crown. Now if you wanted you can use gems or jewels or buttons. You can even cut up little pieces of paper to put on. So I've got my butterfly stickers. Maybe I'll do two more. One. Two. Then I'm going to use my crayons. So you, again, can use crayons or markers, or even if you have colored pencils, if you really want, you can paint your crown. Now I'm going to draw some hearts. I love practicing drawing hearts. If you really want to get um, incorporate some math into this, you can take a dice and you can roll it. So I just got the number six. So now I'm going to draw six fireworks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. This time I'm going to draw smiley faces. Can you count with me? How many did I get? One, two, three. Can we count in Hebrew? Echad, Shtayim, Shalosh. So now I'm going to draw three smiley faces, but I want to do green smiley faces. One, two, and three. Now let's roll again. I got one. I'm gonna write my name one time. My name is kind of long. I wonder if you guys have any of the same letters in your name as you do I that I do. C O U R T N E Y. So I wrote my name, got my smiley faces and my hearts. I think I want to add just a little bit more. So I'm gonna roll it again. And this time I'm gonna do polka dots. How many polka dots am I gonna get? Oh, let's count. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna draw five big orange polka dots. Does anybody like the color orange? Oops. I know Nathan does. So I'm gonna draw big polka dots. One, two, three, four, five. Now you don't have to use the dice to tell you how many things to draw. You can just pick and choose whatever makes you happy. 
So now I'm just gonna kind of shade a little bit um, on the top to just add some color. If you wanna use colored paper, you can. This is your special Yom Hatzmei birthday crown that you get to decide whatever you want to do. So I just added a little bit of color on the top. And let's see, I wanna do, ooh, on the Israeli flag, there's two stripes and then there's a shape in the middle. Does anybody know what shape it is? It's a white flag, a blue stripe on top, a blue stripe on the bottom, and in the middle, it's a star of David. So I'm gonna draw a bunch of stars of David. So it's a triangle and then an upside down triangle on top of it. And a star of David has six points on it. Again, you get to decorate this any way you want. So, once your crown is complete, you can measure it on your head, and then you can tape it. So then you can wear it for our Yom Hatzmayu celebration. Ta-da! Happy birthday, Israel. Thanks for joining me. Once you make your party crown or your birthday hat, send me a picture. I want to see it. Love you, butterflies. Mwah.